put yourselves in the shoes of this young prophet. Can you imagine how he must have felt as this whole episode unfolded? Perhaps he understood that he had been entrusted with something of indescribable eternal importance, and he had let the Lord down. Can we not all relate to those feelings? We are all human, which means we're going to sin and make mistakes. But listen to what the Lord tells Joseph in this same section just a few verses later. But remember, God is merciful. Therefore, repent of that which thou hast done, which is contrary to the commandment which I gave you, and thou art still chosen, and art again called to the work. What healing balm that must have been, those words, to hear from the Lord to the prophet Joseph Smith. He knew there was hope and that the Lord is loving, forgiving, and will always allow us to start again. The ability to repent of our sins is one of the most basic and yet glorious doctrines of the gospel. It is a gift extended to all of God's children, and it is possible because of the Atonement of the Savior Jesus Christ. His invitation to us is tender, personal, and filled with love. He has said to all, Will ye not now return unto me and repent of your sins and be converted, that I may heal you? Yea, verily I say unto you, If ye will come unto me, ye shall have eternal life. Behold, mine arm of mercy is extended towards you, and whosoever will come, him will I receive, and blessed are those who come unto me.